Hello everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you'll stay. Espero que te quedes. Today is a lesson for people who are doing English as a second language. So, ESL students. Now, a lot of you are preparing for your summer exams, so you're speaking, you're listening, the whole thing. And so this one is for people who are doing B2. B2 at the Cambridge or with another uh, examining board. Um, now, they have a section in the written paper where you have to do trans you have to do sentence transformation. Now what they do is they give you a sentence and then a second sentence that's half complete and you have to use a given word not changing it in any way shape or form just fit it in the second sentence and it has to mean the same thing as the first sentence now for this section you need to make sure that you are brushing up on your phrasal verbs so these are verbs that um, have several uh, words or maybe it just has a preposition a preposition such as into on over through things like that uh, so today we're going to have a little look at that to make sure that you know what you have to look at and it might seem daunting because you might be thinking wow there's so many phrasal verbs with this one word but it takes time and it's practice and as long as you know that it's another step it's just another step that you have to take it won't seem so difficult and the more you listen to english speakers the more easy this will become because it's not it's not such a chore as you know i have to sit and learn it all oh my goodness it is a matter of i hear people speaking and i get to an understanding I understand what it means without having to look in the dictionary constantly. Okay, so it's just practice. You will pick these up also by listening to what people are saying when they're talking to you. Okay, do lots of listenings. And then obviously you can use these to express yourselves and you can use them in your writing. Right, so I'm going to give you an example and then I will go through how you can revise um, phrasal verbs. So, this first sentence that you've been given is this. We don't have any milk left. Now, the given word is run. Now, if you don't know that there's an expression with the word run, you're going to panic here. Because you'll think, oh gosh, what do I put? It doesn't make any sense. How can you run with milk? It doesn't make any sense. So, Phrasal verbs are a must. We should dedicate time for these, okay? So, first thing, we look at the first sentence. We don't have any milk left. So, when you don't have something, you run out of something, is what we say. Run out of something means that there is no more left. So, if I say, um, if I say to you, I've run out of money, it means I have no money left. So to have left, okay? You don't have any of something left. There is none, it's all gone. It's because we've used it all. And if you've used it all, or it doesn't exist anymore because you've finished it, the expression we use in English is to run out of, run out of. Now make sure that you write down the prepositions with these words because that's how we know, okay? To run out of something means it's finished. There's none left because it's all been, all been used up. There's no more left, okay? So the second sentence to mean exactly the same would be we have run out of milk, okay? We have no milk left. Okay, now the second one you've been given, you've been, been given the word long, long as in long, 
not short, long. The sentence is, you will get better, providing you take these. So, you will get better, providing you take these. Maybe it's a doctor saying this to you. You will get better, providing you take these pills. Can you take them? So, you will get better, then you have a space, and then take these. So the expression we use for as long as, as long as, as long as is another way of saying providing, providing that you do something, okay? So as long as is the same as providing or providing that, okay? As long as you do this, providing you do this, okay? If you didn't know that, well, you wouldn't have got a point there. So it's all about spending that extra little time and going over your phrasal verbs, okay? Or just expressions, as long as, as long as is just an expression, it's just a construction, as long as, okay? In, in Spanish we say, siempre y cuando, siempre y cuando hagas esto, okay? Siempre y cuando, as long as, but not everyone speaks Spanish, so I'm going to keep it English, okay? And the third example I've given you is this. The sentence goes, Tom doesn't feel like tidying his room. So we're focusing on he doesn't feel like. When you don't feel like something, so you, you have no desire to do it. Okay, it's, it's a bit of a bore. You don't want to. <laughs> so the, the word you've been given is bothered. Bothered. Um, molestado, okay, molestado, no tienes ganas, okay, um, the sentence is, the half finished sentence is, Tom can't, and then a space and his room, now, the expression that you should know is to be bothered, to be bothered, okay, we need an auxiliary verb for that one, to be bothered, it means to have that the appetite to do something, to fancy doing something. I don't fancy doing that. I can't be bothered. Okay? Be bothered. So in negative, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. We normally use it in negative. Tom can't be bothered to tidy his room. Okay? He cannot be bothered to tidy his room. Now, this is the way I normally teach uh, phrasal verbs. I normally focus on one word per session. And so for today, the word that I'm focusing on is get. Okay, we have a lot of phrasal expressions, phrasal verbs with get. We, get, we have get away, get away with, get back, get along with, get on get around to, get together, get through to someone, get by with, to get up, get off, get taken in, get down, get rid of. All of these prepositions change the meaning of the word to get. So I'm going to go through these with you to make sure you know what they mean. You can always look up online phrasal verbs, phrase or phrasal expressions, phrasal verbs with the word run or the verb um, go or the word whatever it is because we have so many, we have a lot. But don't get stressed out about it. The more you listen to English, the easier it will come. You won't have to learn them all like this, okay? The more we speak, the more we absorb, the more we take in and the more that it stays with us, okay? Find a fun way of learning these. So, I'm going to start with get rid of. I want to get rid of my old bicycle. It's no use to me. Okay, get rid of is when you th 
throw something away because it, you, it, you have no use for it anymore. To get rid of some, something, get rid of, you throw it away or you throw it out. You throw away. In Spanish, deshacerte de algo. Deshacerte. Get rid. Okay? You throw it away because you have no need for it anymore. Okay? Or you get rid of your old clothes. If your clothes are old, you get rid of them. You're not going to use them any longer. Okay? Get down. The exams are getting me down. Down. Down in the dumps means to make you sad, okay? If something gets you down, it's because you're sad about it, okay? You're a bit depressed about it. Don't let the weather get you down. It's always raining. Don't let it get you down. Right, so that's those two done. Get away. Get away can be physically a bit. Alejate, get away. Okay, physically remove yourself from where you are, to get away. Okay, get away from me. To remove yourself. Remove yourself from where you are. Okay? Now, get away with is a little bit different. To get away with something, it means perhaps you've done something you shouldn't have done and you don't get punished for it. Mainly because no one knows that you did that bad deed. Okay? Es quedar impune in Spanish. You get away without being punished. So doing something bad, something bad, and getting away with it. You go unpunished. Okay? So the thief got away with... Um, or the or without paying for uh, what he did, he got away, or he got away from the police. Um, is another way as well of saying it's like you escape to get away with. Okay, um, to get away with is when you you don't get punished for something, and to get away is what you would do if um, your the police is chasing you and you manage to get away means they didn't catch you. You manage to escape okay so don't get these two mixed up i i just did there right for, for a moment get away with you go unpunished um for something that you did that you shouldn't have done get over get over is a good one it's a very popular expression to get over something is when you manage to um overcome whether it's a problem or maybe it's a love okay it's a past love maybe you were in love with someone and for a long time that brought you pain but when you get over that person you move on okay um superar in spanish you would say superar you get over it superar okay to get over someone is to overcome it could be an illness, it could be a broken, a broken heart, or just a problem. Yeah. Broken heart, an illness, or a problem. You get over it. Okay, get back. Ah, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you and, well, I, I will get back to you means I will talk to you again about it. Or I will return. Okay, to get, I got back from holiday yesterday. I returned. To return, okay? I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. I will call you about this again so we can uh, finish what we were talking to, um, about. I'll get back to you. Now, this one you might have seen, and it means the same as get on with. Get along with someone. To get along means that you have a friendly relationship with someone and you don't dislike them, you like them, okay? You get along with someone. To have a good relationship, a good relationship with someone. Or maybe you don't get along with someone, okay? Remember, you can always use these in negative. To get something across. To get something across is 
when you explain something to someone and you, ma they ma you manage to get them to understand what you're saying. I couldn't get that maths question across to him. Okay, I couldn't make him understand that maths question. To get something across is, in Spanish, hacer entender. Okay, to make someone understand something, you get, get something across. Get your idea across. Get the information across. Okay? Right. To get around, you can say get around or get around to. It's when um, you start doing something that you had already planned to do. Okay? Uh, I have to get around to tidy my room. It's a tip. Okay? And um, to do something or to start doing something you had already planned. Okay? Good. Now, get together. I have to get together with the other teachers this evening. To get together is meet. Okay? Or it could be romantic actually. We got together back in June. I mean, I started dating. We started dating in June. Get together. Okay? To unite. Right. To get through to someone is pretty much the same as this. To get through to someone is when perhaps you have a conversation with someone and at last you've managed to convince them to see things from the, not my point of view, <laughs> but to get them to see things the way it should be, they should be seen. To get through to someone you actually manage to convince them, okay? Convince, or perhaps you just manage to contact them by phone. Oh, at last I've got through to you, okay? Maybe you've been trying to reach someone by email or by phone, and there was no way to get through to that person. So when you get through to them, it's because you've managed to make contact, okay? To contact. So two meanings for that. For that. To contact someone at last, okay? Or to convince. When you get through to someone, um, imagine um, a child has been very, very difficult and just a problem, and a teacher says, sits them down and talks to them and you know at last you can see that there's progress and the child has taken on board what you said it's because you've got through to them okay right get by with i love this expression to get by with um is when you manage to survive on something so um i can get by with 200 euros a month Okay, it means that you can live on that, you can survive. To get by with is survive with what you have. Okay, so you get by with it. You get by. Might be very difficult to get by with to get by with that or live on that, but you do. You get by with what you have. Get up, that's an easy one. You would have seen this, is when you rise whether it's out of your bed or out of a chair. So it's just to rise. Next one, get off, refers to the bus or a train. So you get off, just the way you get on, so on as well, get on or off, is to do with um, coming off a platform, going down, and on is the same, you go on. You go on the bus or you get on your bike or you get off the bike, you get on the bus, get off the bus, get on the train, you get off the train. Okay? <laughs> Good. And the next, the last one is taken in. To get taken in. Now, this one um, perhaps is not as common as all of these, but we use it a lot um, in, in Britain at least. To get taken in is when, in Spanish, te engañan. Okay? Cuando te engañan. Okay? Engañarse. Dejar engañar por alguien. So it's when you manage to be fooled by someone. Um, you get taken in. You fall for what they've said. You've, been, you, you've got taken in. Okay? Um, so an example. 
uh, I, 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 I got taken in uh, by that, all that nonsense that he told me. Okay, so I fell for all that nonsense that um, he told me. Okay, I hope that you would have found something useful from this video, that you would have learned something. You can do the same with other verbs. Go, um, to be, um, whatever verb you can think of. Get it or travel, whatever. Look for phrasal verbs related to these um, verbs and practice because it's going to come in extremely useful in your exam when it comes to your transformation. You're transforming your sentences so it means the same thing as the first sentence. Now this is a skill because it shows that you have the, the, the means to do that, that you've gone up a level because you're able to use synonyms to express yourself in English. Okay? And with that, I'm going to say goodbye and good luck with your exams. Good luck, guys. <laughs>